Get ready to eat, sip, and listen. I'm Lauren Thomas, and the serving up of Euphoria 2023 is what's happening in the city of Greenville this week. The culinary extravaganza is filled with delightful drinks, live music, and delicious foods from local and national chefs. Since 2006, Euphoria has showcased Greenville's charm, supported more than 40 charities, and helped build our reputation as a top culinary community. Prisma Health Boo and the Zoo tickets are on sale now. This year's trick-or-treating event falls on October 18th through the 22nd and October 25th through the 30th. Almost 1,400 tickets have already been purchased. Matchmaking Greenville founders with interested investors to help startups grow. The two-day Next Venture Summit powered by Visit Greenville SC built connections, provided funding for four innovators, and offered a powerhouse lineup of speakers. Greenville City Council gave initial approval to a stronger noise ordinance. Citizen complaints, new technology to better measure decibel levels, and the desire to give Greenville police officers additional enforcement tools prompted the updates. Our Red Panda Cubs received their final set of vaccines last week. The Cubs also received a quick physical and had their weights checked. Both Cubs received a clean bill of health. Park staff have been monitoring the swamp milkweed in the Unity Park retention pond and noting the success with the monarch species. Prep work along with signage has been added to the new pollinator garden in Cleveland Park. Measuring our mobility goals. 8,000 plus homes are within walking distance of the Prisma Health Swamp Rabbit Trail. With over 750,000 users each year, more than 420,000 miles have been ridden by bike share since 2021 and over 16 million calories burned. Greenlink staff facilitated a new passenger orientation for a recent immigrant to the United States from the Congo with the assistance of a French interpreter. We're go. committed to making public transit accessible for all residents. Greenville City firefighters were joined by first responders around the region for their annual 9-11 stair climb at Floor Field. Participants paid tribute to lives lost on September 11, 2001 by climbing the equivalent of 110 stories of the World Trade Center. The Greenville Fire Department's new opioid response team was introduced to City Council this week. Each team member brings special skills and personal experience to assist them with overdose calls. They will also follow up with survivors to help them with the root cause of their addiction. Bank of America Fall for Greenville is one of the best fall festivals around the U.S., according to AAA. The festival was also listed by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution in their Fall Travel Getaway Guide. Fall for Greenville is recruiting volunteers for next month's event. More than 2,000 volunteers are needed. Thankfully, we have Euphoria to satisfy our appetite for great food and live music. It should hold us over until October. I'm Lauren Thomas for the City of Greenville.